Apocalypse. What is up guys and gals, Space Unicorn here bringing you some hot frag action. So now we are entering the last meta. This is the one that I believe we are transitioning into. So right now there are cards sitting in the game who are poised to take the meta spot from the splash damage as soon as an andro nerf happens. So with that being said, let's go over these cards. They are as followed. We have Fragment, who's actually sneakily become a very, very good card and nobody's using him. Well, there's a few people, but not enough. Second card is Blot. Blot is incredibly strong. And honestly, it would be meta if Splash Damage still didn't have it. Ronin. Ronin is another very good card. If played correctly, you can get big value out of him. But he's also able to be killed. So it's a matter of figuring him out. We have Lucha. He never really leaves meta. He's just hanging out. He basically has a little tent. And then we have Crystal. So Crystal, Ronin, Blot, and Fragment are set to switch the meta from splash damage to five attack cards um with that being said we're gonna hop to some matches with them and we're gonna see can we get away with this lineup i think we can and i don't think it's gonna be too difficult with these particular cards these cards are designed to be aggressive they're designed to do huge amounts of damage and they're designed to counter most of the cards on the field that's the way they're set up and we're gonna play them like that so, with that being said, as soon as we get into a match here, we will begin. Here is our first opponent. He has a nice little win streak going there. We're going to see if we can uh, interrupt that win streak. So, here we go. We're going to start Crystal. I really, really love Crystal. It is my favorite card in the game right now. As you can see, we're going to do a little bit of work with the Crystals. And there's a nice little double frag to start us off. Get this frag hopefully if we don't lag there we go nice little frags there and now here comes the onslaught watch this what you guys are about to see is going to be so disgusting there goes genkins watch this tower disappear guys it's gone this is the five attack card meta if you can get those early frags with your crystal, this lineup is designed to just make things disappear. Look, there goes another one up top now. He is only now getting his respawns back. If I control his respawns, which I am by the way, he is in trouble. So that main tower is going to disappear as fast as everything else. We're going to get back here and get rid of this ape suit. And we're going to perfect score the first match with the oncoming meta that could be happening. Five attack cards featuring Blot, Fragman, Crystal, and Ronin. Now, I don't really want this meta to happen. I want to make that clear. This lineup is very, very, very strong, and it feels imbalanced whenever I'm playing it. It's kind of how Andro and Ronin feel. Um, they both feel a little bit imbalanced. Um... So, we're going to hop in another match, and we're going to play a different card this time instead of Crystal. I know, me without Crystal. Oh, it's so sad. It's such a tragedy. And um, we're going to see if we can get the dub. What do you guys think? <laughs> so, now we wait, guys. Now we wait. So, we have another opponent here. He is running a pretty good lineup. That's nothing to scoff at, but we're going to start with a little bit of hot Fragman action. So, as I've been saying with this card... He has quietly, and I do mean quietly, snuck into meta conversation. Very, very, very good card. He's a hit scan, a true hit scan. We have not had a true hit scan in a very long time. Get your giant lightsaber out of here. There we go. Get this here, and then we're going to issue the attack. Here comes the pain. Get ready for it. I've got two cards going to his tower right now, and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to see if I can get in a position to get rid of Bobber before he frags my Lucha. Or Ronan. There it is. Big frag. So now that tower's about to disappear. We're on to the next one. This is the thing, guys. Five attack cards, and they all have relatively fast respawns. This is a lot to handle for anybody in this game. If there wasn't, like, here's the thing. Like, normally with these cards, like, you have to worry about respawns. Respawns are kind of king. Eh, we're going to frag this guy, I think. I don't know. It just felt right to frag him. He felt like he needed to die. We're going to fall back here. You guys know I love running some crystal action. Favorite card in the game right now. Buy a lot. 
<laughs> it's just one of those things, guys, where you kind of... So, oh, man, he's completely ignoring me. Poor guy. I told you I was going to get you, buddy. Did I not tell you I was going to get you? Or did I just leave that little detail out? I can't remember. They're frag. We're going to actually frag him out, I think. I'm feeling a fragging day. Let's do some fragging. There goes another one. What's up, JB? We fighting? We fighting, swimmy? We fighting, swim shorts? You really want to go? I mean, I'll go. Get that frag, rotate out. I do wish that thing would release you a second sooner, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, does it? And there goes another one. And now it's just little old Fragman here. This card's actually, like I said, this lineup, it's just nasty. It's absolutely disgusting how good this lineup is. And slam him, slam him, slam him. And that's all she wrote for this opponent. Like I said, this lineup is very, very strong, and it is set to counter the current meta. But it all depends on what the devs do with the next update. Are they going to nerf or continue to nerf these cards? Or are they going to nerf Andromeda? The Andromeda nerf is coming, guys. I'm telling you. Be ready for it. Learn to adapt early. With that being said, we're going to run one more game. Because we haven't really played around with Blot. And you guys have seen enough Ronin, so I'm not going to mess around with him. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of Ronin, but he's, he's good. Look at that. Nice little win streak. He's actually running a really good lineup. So... Let's see if we can do it too. We're going to issue an attack right away. We're going to get all of our attack cards cooking. He's coming with Ronin, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to take my attack cards over his Ronin any day of the week. Are we dancing or what, Ronin? That's fine. You can be on my tower, buddy. I have tower melters over here. Watch how fast these things disappear. Oh, you got a tower? It's adorable. We're going to issue everyone to go up there because this tower is about to disappear too. He can have his Ronin over there all he wants. If he doesn't play defense, it don't matter. You understand? Like, it's it's that simple. It does not matter if he does not play defense. Like, right now, this tower is gone. See? Told you. Gone. Now Lucha's on his main tower. He can have it. As I stated, he can have it. All i got to do is frag his cards here. If I do that, I win. See what I mean? Game over. I win. That easy. He can run his Ronin all he wants till he's blue in the face. He has lost this game. <laughs> it's that easy, guys. This could be the new meta. I'm hoping it's not, but these cards are set and poised to be the new meta. Just keep my word on it. That's a lot of attack power to handle there, and it's very, very hard to counter. It kind of does everything. It does speed, it does high damage, it does invincibility, and it does aerial ability. That just that's that's a heck of a combo. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and down there. This has been the meta changes from the beginning. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Bye bye.